Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Steven Detweiler. Yeah, I know. I got a, I got a hood on. I got my. I mean, this is this is winter time to me. 45 degrees. It's chilly. I think it's actually a little chillier than that. But um, I'm almost a mile in. Um, this is the first exercise I've had in like a week and a half. Um, due to the fact of uh, oh, this is walking talk with Steven Detweiler. And uh, and uh, with the uh, head cold, upper respiratory cold, uh, I can feel it. I'm I'm debating if I'm going to go for that other half a mile or not. Um, I don't want to push myself too too hard too fast. My body's recovering. I'm doing much better than I was uh, uh, yesterday and the day before and the day before. So. I think I'm just going to uh, uh, finish off this mile and uh, just little updates. Um, car is still running good. Uh, car is still running good. Uh, like I said, uh, getting over this this cold with the cold virus. Uh, so I didn't get any antibiotics. And what I did was I took uh, uh, make it through work and. To loosen up uh, chest stuff and stuff, I t and I took uh, what the Mucinex DM, and I took a uh, Benadryl to keep me breathing. And uh, now walking in the cold and stuff. Oh, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel! Look at the squirrel. Did you see the squirrel? I saw the squirrel. And uh, so, so I didn't make it through Thursday and Friday of my work week. Uh, praying over my shoulder my shoulder was healed 22 years ago and it's been acting up a lot I'm um, just praying for the money to go down to uh, the chiropractor there's a good good squirrel hi squirrel how you doing buddy uh, we see you squirrel you're hiding hiding squirrel and uh, so finished Thursday and Friday it wasn't easy but we move forward and that's been my my deal 2023 i'm gonna move forward and every day i wake up i'm gonna move forward every day you wake up move forward um man elections well either the country has totally lost their mind and said we like being in poverty we like high inflation. We like uh, no supply chains. We like being 40 days out from losing all diesel oil. We like our government uh, uh, releasing all of our, our strategic oil supply. We like having an open border. Um, we like that. So we're just going to continue to vote for the Democrats that, that put all this into action these last two years. Um, or there's something else going on with the electoral system. I'm not saying anything. That's all I'm saying about that. I don't want to get off of YouTube. I'm not going to make accusations. I'm just saying uh, there's some things that everybody needs to consider and, and look at and say what's going on here. I do. I am a. I am a proponent of as a Texan and as the Republic of Texas, knowing that Texas has all the resources that a country needs that the Republic of Texas can definitely stand alone. Um, we've got the people, we've got the resources. Like I said, we've got, Texas has what Texas needs to be a standalone country. Um, and we can do it. But the thing is, we have to have the serious, and I'm saying, I'm not saying, hey man, um, we because there's two distinct and this isn't going against anybody's rules or anything like that um, look at the fact that there, there, there's no compromises anymore there's no interactions except for our way or their way and when one side says that the other side is uh, evil and if you don't think our way then our democracy is lost and blah 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 well, that is true. 
that we have two distinct countries, two distinct frames of mind, and it's not going to change. And so that's where we have to come to the place of saying, all right, how do we divide this up and do it peaceably um, uh, and do it equitably? Uh, it's like those that are on, uh, that are fixing to get into Social Security. Okay, now I'm fixed, I'm 60 years old. Uh, 65 67 whatever uh, I'll I'll start collecting my Social Security which I which I will collect because I paid into it and I de I deserve to have it back um, so yeah so we'd have to look at the fact that okay now there are other so what it would, would be like for Texas it'd be like a dual citizenship okay and the United States would still pay out my Social Security as I am living in a different country. There are American citizens that get their Social Security that live in different countries right now, all over the world. And uh, so that would be one thing. And then, uh, you know, Texas would have to say, okay, this is how we are going to design things uh, on a social basis. Um, uh, would it, would it be a social security situation? Would Texas as a, as a nation do it like that? What would all that look like? And we need representatives, and you need to contact your representatives and say, we need to have an outline educational uh, discussion of what this will look like. And that's what we need. That's that's what we need, and that's that's what that's what we need as Texans. That's what the red states need. The people that still believe in the foundations of our nation, um, that live by that, and aren't trying to destroy those things. It's so funny that one side that makes all the accusations of fascism and and everything else are actually the ones doing what they're accusing, and they do that all the time. And half the country is deceived by that you you look at some uh uh walking street interviews and you see you see how deceived people are and that is such a shame but we are at the end times and if you know the bible at all you can see if you go through daniel ezekiel and you look through the revelations look through what jesus said um and just see where we are I mean, it's right there. It's for all of us to see. But it says, you know, if the days were not shortened, even the elect would be deceived. That means you and I, those that truly believe in Jesus Christ. And we need to believe and be ready for the rapture, the catching away of the church. And we need, we need to be also preaching kingdom. The king is coming. You can be a part of his kingdom through his shed blood sacrifice. So there's some things coming down um, for the end times to actually take place with the, the attack of Israel um, and the Antichrist coming against Israel. Uh, the United States has to be in a depleted situation where they can't defend Israel. Um, that, is, that is a must um, and that will take place. Understand that will take place because as long as the United States isn't in chaos and as long as the United States is still one United States, Israel's got a covering. The second we start to break up and the second the chaos starts taking place, Israel has no covering. And so, and I was looking at one guy whose predictions have, you know, he's not making prophetic predictions. He's just saying, okay, this is what I see coming down the road and... And those things have happened. Well, he says that uh, we won't be a United uh, States uh, come uh, 2032. He said as early as 2028, and we probably won't even have a 2024 election. So we'll see. That's just what this guy's saying. I don't know. Well, we'll find out if we're living at the time. All right, I am back. I think my nostrils are good. Um, just don't look at my nostrils when... Uh, when like I did trim, I trimmed my nose here. I'm I'm back because 
I do want to address some things. I do want to address, I mean, I addressed a little bit about Texas uh, going on its own and stuff like that, but we really have, and this, I guess, more of a political post this week, um, because I, we need to have political influence. Um, and now I'm going to talk about Mitch McConnell. That was on my heart. So even my walk and talk was 10 minutes, so we can go another couple minutes so I can uh, do a little rant about term limits. We need term limits, and we need to continue to write and pressure and call and tell our representatives they need to put into our system like we did at one point for president that we have to have term limits these people schumer mcconnell pelosi uh, uh all these people i don't care if they're democrat call themselves a democrat or a republican they're in there too long you know, you know power corrupts you know and giving them power for this long they have the name recognition so they just get in and they're there and they're the ones that have caused all this all those long term politicians have caused all this and uh yeah I'm, I'm right here I decided to stop here um I got that walk in uh my, my I started feeling it in my chest so I kind of like uh uh, stop that a mile, but we have to we have to if, if we are to stay together as a nation The biggest thing to accomplish that There's a couple things one of the biggest things to accomplish that would be uh, a That We get have term limits that nobody should ever be in office for more than eight years You know, maybe 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 eight years it may be eight years for uh for uh, representatives and 10 years for senators something we need something that's going to get these people out of washington it was never supposed to be a full-time job and career washington dc politician never was it intended to be that um in the in the original congress people maintain their businesses they they went to Washington when there was a problem. They weren't. These are not lawmakers. They're supposed to be. They're they're supposed to be there to block and stop any frivolous laws from being made that would that would that would infringe on the freedoms of the people. Now we have all these organizations through. Uh, you know we got we got EPA, IRS. We got all all the all these. Uh, Federal Bureau of of, uh, of uh, well, tobacco, firearms, and, and, and blah blah blah. Um, we have we have all these things that that uh, that create these regulations that are laws, but those laws are not laws because they were never made through the con the constitutional way of doing it through the Congress. And that's how they have put the thumb on a free people we are not a free people people you need to understand that we are not a free people we are an oppressed people by an oppressive government whether you call it democrat or republican um, there there's a conservative movement that movement that says let's get back to the foundation of our nation um, we our federal government should run off of sales tax and tariffs sales tax and tariffs and that's that's and, and and let me tell you something if our fed ran off of sales tax and tariffs everything that would be done in this country would be pushing for a greater gdp we, they'd be all for keeping our economy great because that's how our government is supported is through the economy and not through slave labor of income tax So we got to get rid of these lifetime politicians. That was uh, that was a. Two, we have to. We got a and two. 
two, we have to reestablish from the very beginning of kids in school, reestablish the civics lessons that we were getting in the 50s and the 60s, which gave us the foundation of understanding our nation and why we are here, how we are here, and how we're supposed to be as the citizens of this nation. We have a generation that has no clue why they would say the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. No clue of anything about the foundation of our nation except for a few little tidbits and the, the wokeness of how, how bad and nasty and awful our nation is from its foundation. That's what this generation thinks. If we don't do A and 2, our nation is lost. And, and, and quite frankly, like I said, there's a guy that mentioned that, that we're really on the brink of that. And I believe we are on the brink of that. Can we come back from that? Or is this the timing of Jesus Christ? If it's not the timing of Jesus Christ and his coming, then we should be able to find a way back if we reestablish any any sports team ball any sports team will tell you when they're doing bad what do they do they get back to foundations they start they start from scratch on the foundation if you want if you're having a problem you're not receiving and hearing the voice of god you start from the very basic you say uh, gentlemen ladies and gentlemen this is a bible and you start from the foundation. You start from the beginning. You you throw out everything you thought and you get back into it from the beginning and you start on that foundation. If we do not get back to the foundation of this nation, this nation is lost because this nation has slipped so far off its foundation. I don't even know if there's a part of it still on the foundation. And what are we gonna rebuild ourselves into? A totalitarian nation because that's the way history goes and I if, if the Lord doesn't come and we and, and this nation goes through that I'm I'm long for this world I'm probably 20 years out if, if the Lord doesn't come and take us or or, or some other thing get me um, longevity wise I'm probably another 20 years here um, and I would hate to see be the one, the generation to see this nation totally crumble. Um, but it's going to be the oppressions and the tyranny and, 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 and the authoritarianism and the fascism that the generations after me are going to be experiencing. The funny thing is, is that the one side kept accusing the side that I'm on of those things when it's they're the ones that are implementing it. And it's so plain to see if you'll open your eyes. I just wanted to rant a little bit. Get rid of Mitch McConnell. Get rid of Schumer. Get rid of Pelosi. Get rid of every long-term politician. And if nothing else, you, if we get control of the Senate, you Republican senators, you replace McConnell from being the representative of the Republican Party in the Senate. He does not lead us, he does not represent us, and stop having him in that position. That's my final word on that. I needed to rant about that, because that is what has to take place. Okay, now I think I'm done. I love you, God bless you, and I'll see you next time.